Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in a Big Ten clash as we got our Michigan Wolverines taking on the Wisconsin Badgers. Let's get straight to the action. It's going to be a hard, heavy a hitting as only the Big Ten can do. And Josiah Finch is starting off right now. And there's a pass. Oh! And it gets aired out to Tom Locke. Looked like he had overthrown him, but Locke adjusted right there. And great field goal or field position right there as they were on their own 44-yard line. And it started off already at 7-0 in the first play. And Carol Miller takes it in for the two-point conversion. Michigan is up 8 to nothing. Wisconsin goes out for a three and out. Wow, that was pretty quick. And here we go. Catch by Mr. Miller right there. And Miller, he's going to 30. 20. Oh, and he's still going. I think he's going to get into the end zone. Can he do Oh, he makes a miss. 59 yards for the touchdown. And they are on a roll today, folks. Here it is. It's already 7, or uh, excuse me, 14-0 right now. And there's a pass right there to Tom Locke for the two-point conversion. It's already 16 and nothing. And Wisconsin again with the three and out. Wow, and here we go again. We're getting ready to set up. And then we've got in the bottom screen. Oh, it might be an interception right there. Oh, no, but Andreas Wilson. It was a jump ball right there. And Wilson is going to take it to the house. Three plays and three touchdowns, 66 yards. Wow. And Finch got away, got lucky with that one because that was a wildly thrown ball right there. And there's a pass in. Oh! And the tight end was there to catch the ricochet. And it's already 24 to nothing. And we've got the ball again. And here we go. Finch doesn't like what he sees, so he's calling an audible right there. Uh-oh. Wow, almost interception right there as he overshot Andreas Wilson. And there's still 29 seconds left to go in the first quarter. There's a pass right there. And Mr. Miller, he's got the ball and he's still going. Oh, and a 28-yard play right there. They call a timeout as they're going to get... Another play there before the first quarter ends. And there's a pass. Oh, and good defense right there by the Wisconsin um, cornerback right there. Looked like there was a lot of hand grabbing, but when you look back at it, it was just a good play. And there's a catch right there. And Miller, 19 more yards at the end of the quarter. And they're almost in the red zone. 21-yard uh, line right here. And here we go. It's a pitch and catch right there to Tom Locke. Easy right there. 21 yards. The score is now 30 to nothing right now. And here's a handoff. It's going to come to Mr. Miller easily right there as their blockers. He went in untouched, almost like uh, how we say. Oh, Wisconsin with the uh, field goal coming back. And I was going to say like Emmett Smith, because Emmett Smith, uh, plenty of times when he would go five to seven yards without even being touched. And here we go, second down and five. He's looking where he's going to throw the ball. And there's like three receivers right there. It's like, take your pick. And Carol Miller was the one that got the ball that time. Uh-oh, this is looking like it's trouble. And it is as Andreas Wilson just blew by the cornerback and forget about it. And it is now a 38-3 to uh, score right here. As we go for the two-point conversion. And easily, as Carol Miller flared out as he thought he was going to be going inside. And it's 40-3. to Oh, it's an interception. But it was at the end of the uh, half right there. Wow. And as we, uh, excuse me for the interruption right there, and we're at the end of the first half, getting ready to start the second half, it's 40-3, to three, and Michigan's kicking off. Wisconsin's got the ball. 
And Wisconsin goes on and gets a field goal at least. May not be much, but at least it might build some momentum. Here we go. And he just throws it away right there, which was smart because Tom Locke was double covered right there. That would have been an easy uh, interception. And there's oh, and Andreas Wilson. If he would have came, if he would have continued to keep going, that would have been an easy catch right there, and probably would have been going for a while. Oh, and Wilson right there just overthrew him once again. They're going for it on fourth down as they're giving a pretty good cushion right there to Wilson. See what they can get. Here's a pass. There's a catch. And Wilson gets the first down. He's got more. To the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Wow, with that game-breaking speed. 55 yards right there. As you can see, that's why he decided to go uh, for it on fourth down. All right, look and see. And goes touchdown to Tom Locke. And we've got to give credit to the um, offensive line, which gave him all day right there. And here we go. It's a pass Tom Locke, who is wide open. That was easy right there. Just put a quick move on and went right by. And we're at the end of the third quarter, and it's 48-6. to six. Michigan's got it. Uh, at, let's see, the 43-yard line, and it spells trouble right there. It's Tom Locke is single cover at the top right there. That's just way too easy. You can't do something like that to Tom Locke, the fastest player on the team. And forget about it. He's over about 15-yard spacing right there. Just put on a jet rocket. Excuse me. And now they're going for the two-point conversion right here. And there it is. And goes to Carol Miller, and it's 56 to 6. I mean, they're throwing haymakers, and Wisconsin's kicked or punted the ball again, which once again, uh, Michigan's got the ball at the, uh, let's see, the 37 yard line. I want to take a quick uh, timeout right here to say uh, congratulations to Fresno State, who are the Retro Bowl champions here of the CDL, the uh, College Dynasty League, where they're on top. They won season five. And as I say that, Tom Locke is playing like a champion right here as he goes all the way for a 62-yard touchdown. Oh, my gosh. I mean, forget about the bleeding stopping. I mean, you might as well wave the white flag right here because this is just... It's worse than a massacre right here. Wisconsin's got the ball, and it's an interception. 39 seconds left to go here, and they've got 64. They might get an uh, opportunity to score 70 if it uh, keeps up. And here it goes. And here's a pass to Wils or to Tom Locke, and he's going in. And he scores 70. This is their highest point total ever. 70 to 6. Oh, and they actually go for an extra point here. That hasn't happened uh, in a couple of weeks. And it's 71-6 to six right here. And it's over. 71-6. to six. Wow, and Jaquan Lynch is going to be out for five games. The DB is one of their defensive leaders. That's going to hurt because he's going to be out for five games. May not be back till the uh, playoffs, folks. Wow. Let's go ahead on and uh, let's take a look at the uh, stats here. Man, wow. And yes, we uh, praise Carol Miller, but we're also going to praise the fans here. And I think Josiah Finch may have broken uh, his own record. Maybe, not sure. 500 or nine touchdowns, I believe that at least ties the record right there. Wow. And let's see, J-Ron right here, defensive lineman. We're going to uh, power him up. And real briefly, taking a look at the stats. 19 completions for 515 yards and 9 touchdowns. Scorching hot. Carol Miller, 
only ran the ball one time, really didn't need to because the defense was uh, unfortunately one-on-one coverage, four receptions for 120 yards. And Finch just had a field day right there, six uh, passes to Tom Locke for 232 yards, six touchdowns. Locke is just being himself, video game mode. Andreas Wilson, three receptions for 163 yards. Just amazing right there. And let's take a look here. And Houghton Landrum, as I talked about, offensive lineman has just been stellar uh, this game and this year. J. Ron. And then look at Grant Rogers, 15 tackles, an interception, and a sack. He's playing on another level. And that's about it, folks. And as we take a look to see, we're going to be playing Little Brother once again next week. So we're getting ready to get out of here. I'm just going to say this has been a great ride. And let's hopefully uh, keep this going, folks, as uh, Michigan Wolverines are looking to clinch a national championship. So on that note, we're just going to say peace, go blue, and times will get better.